Let's get you to a 100 sleep score. How to do it? Well, I want to talk about that within a few minutes here. Completely evidence-based, randomized control trial based. I want to give you a very easy, safe, scientifically approved symbiotic mix of supplements which can maximize your sleep quality, sleep architecture, and so on. Ever wish you could slip into the perfect sleep like this every single time? Well, now, let's say tonight, I'm pretty sure you're watching that in the evening, <laughs> I'm sharing the ultimate sleep stack to help you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up completely refreshed. And trust me, you'll want to stick around until the very end of that video because the final ingredient ties everything perfectly together in a way that most people overlook it. We all know sleep isn't just closing your eyes. Your brain cycles through stages, light sleep, deep sleep, slow wave sleep and REM sleep where you're dreaming. Well, deep sleep repairs muscles and clears out metabolic waste. REM sleep fine tunes memory and mood. Many products promise better sleep, but few are backed up by randomized controlled trials, the kind of trials which I like to use for all my own research, for my own life, and of course for those videos as well, because that's the real data. So I scouted the literature to find the most effective synergistic supplements. Well, let me show you. Here's what I found. The first one, probably already know it, magnesium, the calming mineral, but not just any magnesium. Magnesium is the foundation of our stack, the basic thing. In 2025, researchers gave people with insomnia 250 milligrams of magnesium bisglycinate every night for eight weeks. Compared with placebo, magnesium significantly reduced the insomnia severity index and improved overall sleep quality. Another double-blind trial used magnesium L-threonate, another form of magnesium, for four weeks and found higher sleep scores, better REM sleep and improved mood. The big takeaway, magnesium improves the quality of your sleep, even if it doesn't knock you out faster. Using bisglycinate form also delivers glycine, which matters for our next ingredient. That's glycine. I'm adding that on top myself to my sleep stack on top of magnesium glycinate. Glycine is an amino acid that lowers the core body temperature and helps your circadian clock, which is of course the clock we are all running by. Studies have shown that three grams of glycine before bedtime improves subjective sleep quality and reduces sleep latency. In sleep restricted volunteers, glycine reduces daytime fatigue and improve attention, something which I'm personally lacking of sometimes, by cooling the body and activating NMDA receptors, glycine primes you for deep sleep. Little bonus, magnesium plus glycinate already includes glycine. You can add another two to three grams to reach the effective dose. How to use that? Well, just dissolve three grams of glycine in water 30 to 60 minutes before bed. And it has a sweet taste and that pairs nicely with the magnesium as well. The third one is myo-inositol and that actually boosts sleep efficiency right? Myonositol is a sugar involved in cell signaling and serotonin production, which makes you, of course, feel happy. I will come to that serotonin thing a little bit later again with another supplement. We all want to feel happy. We all want to sleep well, right? In a 2020 double-blind trial, pregnant women are taking two grams of myonositol daily for 10 weeks, and they saw significant improvements in sleep quality, sleep duration, and sleep efficiency compared with those on folic acid alone. While the study was focused on pregnancy, the underlying mechanism, improved neurotransmitter balance and insulin sensitivity, will apply to everyone. Participants had better overall PSQI scores, suggesting more restful nights, which is something we can all use. Well, how to use that? Just mix two grams of myonositol powder or pills with water before your bedtime. If you're sensitive to blood sugar shifts, start with one gram and then increase gradually. I am combining it with folate. The fourth one, I think it's my favorite because it doesn't only improve your sleep. As a man, it can improve your testosterone as well indirectly because it reduces your stress. And that is ashwagandha. It's a stress relief and deeper sleep boost 
stuff. I want to talk about this adaptogen, ashwagandha. It is an adaptogen, a herb that calms the stress system and modulates GABA receptors. A 2020 double-aligned study of adults with non-restorative sleep found that 120 mg of standardized ashwagandha extract, which you can use shodan or like any other standardized extract which is used in these studies, led to 72% reported improved sleep quality versus 29% in the placebo group, which didn't use ashwagandha. So that is a quite big difference. They also slept longer, fell asleep faster, woke up less during the night, all quite good things which are potentially improving your sleep, right? Another trial in both healthy and insomnia subjects showed that ashwagandha reduced sleep onset latency and wake after sleep onset in increased total sleep time and efficiency. A 10-week trial on individuals with insomnia reported increases in total sleep time, time in bed and sleep efficiency along with decreased anxiety. And a 2025 study on formulation called ZenRoot found that over 90% of participants achieved clinically meaningful improvements in sleep quality and mood. Ashwagandha's cortisol lowering and GABA modulating effects make it a powerful partner for magnesium and glycine. Well, how to use that? A look at standardized extracts. I think this is quite important, like Shodan or KSM 66. I am personally using KSM 66. And take 120 to 300 milligram one hour before bed. Some people also benefit from a morning dose to manage daytime stress. So if you have anxiety, you can take it in the morning. I personally like to take it before sleep time because it has a better effect on my sleep rather than taking it in the morning. In the day, I want to be full of energy, right? And the fifth one is valerian root, a natural sedative. Valerian has been used for centuries as a mild sedative. A recent research backs it up. In a 2023 eight-week double-blind trial, adults with sleep complaints taking 400 milligrams of standardized valerian extract experienced reduced PSQI scores, shorter time to fall asleep, longer sleep duration, and higher sleep efficiency compared with the placebo group which didn't take um, valerian. <laughs> Participants also reported less anxiety less daytime drowsiness, and a more refreshing feeling upon waking time, which is something we all want, obviously. Because valerian enhances GABA signaling, it complements ashwagandha's calming effects. Well, how to use it? 300 to 600 milligram. In the study, they used 400. Try it out yourself. Of standardized valerian extract, around 30 minutes to 60 minutes before bedtime. You should start low if you are sensitive and avoid operating machinery after taking it because it can, of course, sedate you a little bit, right? Then let's talk about the next one that might be a little bit surprising. Tart cherry concentrate, natural melatonin and antioxidants. Well, tart cherries are rich in melatonin, tryptophan and anthocyanins. In a randomized crossover trial, drinking tart cherry juice concentrate for seven days significantly increased total melatonin levels and increased time in bed. Didn't try that myself because I'm on a ketogenic diet, but let me know in the comments below if it's helping. The research, the scientific research is quite clear about that. And yeah, it doesn't even only increase the time in bed, it also increases total sleep time and sleep efficiency compared with the placebo group. Another crossover study found that tart cherry powder combined with tryptophan, glycine and magnesium reduced sleep onset latency and increased sleep time and efficiency. Tart cherry polyphenols also reduce inflammation, which is often elevated in insomnia. Well, how to use it? Just drink 240 milliliters of tart cherry juice. I'm always a big fan of the whole food, the whole product, or mix 30 milliliters of the concentrate with water just one hour before bed. It works really well with tryptophan-rich snacks, so chicken, turkey, all of these things which are containing a lot of tryptophan. Well, the next one, maybe you heard about it, right? We are producing it ourselves, but it has a lot of benefits. Melatonin is your body's timekeeper. In older adults with low REM sleep, a four-week trial using 5 milligrams of melatonin at 10 p.m. increased REM sleep percentage and improved daytime functioning. I am personally using 5 to 10 milligrams because it's not only helping you sleep, it's actually also an antioxidant. Lower doses like 0.3 to 1 milligram didn't outperform placebo in primary 
Insomnia, so higher doses may be needed for some. Another 2024 study found that 4 mg of melatonin reduced sleep disturbance more than the placebo group. Because melatonin influences your circadian rhythm more than sleep depth, it's most useful for jet lag, shift work, or when your REM sleep is lacking. How to use it? Well, use 1 to 5 mg of melatonin 30 to 60 minutes before bed only when you need to shift your internal clock. Avoid nightly use if you already sleep at consistent times. Then the next one, I talked about it before, and that is tryptophan. I am a huge fan of that. Tryptophan is the dietary amino acid precursor to serotonin and melatonin. So you needed to actually produce serotonin and melatonin yourself. You can get tryptophan from foods like turkey, pumpkin seeds and dairy, just like I said before, or as a supplement. I am personally just eating normal and healthy a whole foods diet and then I'm adding tryptophan as a stack on top of that as it is an amino acid only and quite safe to use. So how to use it? Eat tryptophan rich snack with carbohydrates one to two hours before bed or, and that is what I am doing, take 500 milligrams to one gram of pure L-tryptophan as a supplement. Consider pairing it with glycine and tart cherry for maximum effect. So now let's pull it all together. What does the perfect sleep stack actually look like if you want a symbiotic effect? Start by taking magnesium bisglycinate and glycine round about one to two hours before your bedtime. Add myo-inositol to boost sleep efficiency and ashwagandha to calm your stress response. Half an hour before bed, introduce valerian, which is very sedating, and sip on tart cherry juice as some little bonus if you want to. That's the one I'm not taking, but might try it out in the future. Use melatonin occasionally when you need to reset your body clock. I am personally using melatonin every night, and if I'm not using it, I'm still fine something you can try out yourself. And for the extra edge, include tryptophan, something I'm a huge fan of, either from a snack or in supplement form to give your brain the building blocks to make its own melatonin. Each of these ingredients has been shown in randomized trials to improve sleep aspects of sleep architecture. Together they form a symphony with magnesium and glycine setting the stage inositol and ashwagandha depending on the relaxation, valerian and tachari soothing you into slumber, and melatonin and tryptophan fine-tuning the rhythm perfectly. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all solution for anyone. Start with the basics, add components slowly, and listen to your body. This is something I always want to tell you. It's the most important thing. Always consult a healthcare for professional if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or on medications. And combine this deck with healthy sleep habits, a dark, cool room, consistent bedtimes, and limited screen time. This is very important, guys. If you found this helpful, hit the like to a new all-time high, share with anyone who struggles to sleep and subscribe for more science-backed health tips on this MM Health channel. Check the description below for links and all the studies I used here and I mentioned in that video. And here, to end it off, here's to your best night's sleep. If you can't sleep well, I'm feeling with you. Let's fix it. Let's get you to 100 sleep score tonight and every night. And as always, guys, bye-bye.